Hello everyone and welcome back to TBO. Uh, on today's episode, we're doing totally broken opinions. I mean, unpopular opinions, because hey look, that's the name of the show. I know it was the big one, uh, we haven't changed the branding, but hey look. <laughs> <laughs> look, this is the right? situation. We're in a transitional yeah, this... phase. It has yeah. been transitional for about two years now, but we're still transitioning. Yeah, we're transitioning. Uh, <laughs> it's just very slow. Yeah, we're doing... We're doing unpopular opinions. Uh, so we had the idea of we'll say an uh, unpopular opinion and then we have to call whether or not we want to have the opinion or not have the opinion. So like devil's advocate, one of us has to defend the other opinion. Yeah, but what, what if I don't want to defend this opinion? What if it's really bad? What if it's, what if it's Exactly. That's the point. I don't want to be cancelled. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want you to go anyway. first, because you have this opinion, and you just burst out laughing, and I want to know what it is now. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, before the podcast, it was just like, oh, I was just reading through a list of unpopular opinions, uh, and it, I came up to, uh, I think Simba from The Lion King is a little git. <laughs> <laughs> and it just broke me, I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was just reading, oh, all of these things are just like, oh, these are fine, these are fine. I think Simba's a little git. I'm just like, That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so we'll start with that one. I call yes, Simba is a little git. You can have Simba's not. Okay, I, I will try my best to defend this, but I am, I have never seen Lion King. I need to look up what a git is again. A git, git is a software for tracking changes in any that's set not what, of files that, that's not usually the term used the for coordinating work among programmers collaboratively developing source code during software development. No, I use git at work, right? But that's <laughs> that's what I use. Not, that's not, Hang the on, British let me git. put slang. A term of insult denoting an unpleasant, silly, incompetent, annoying, senile, elderly, or childish person. As a mild oaf, it is roughly on par with Pratt and marginally less project pre pre than Burke. What the fuck's Burke? I don't know. That that was a very old-timey phrase. Anyway, Hang why on. is he not? Well, he's a, he was a kid, Burke. you know? His, his father died. <clears throat> it brutally murdered. Burke, a full Pratt twit, cockney rhyming slang, uh, vulgar cunt. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> cool. Why else is he, is he yeah. not... Um, <laughs> I'm well, going to start using Burke. I want to see if <laughs> anyone knows what Burke is when I call them a Burke. Oh, plural is Burks. Next time we play okay, Destiny Dan. and you're mad at someone, you're going to come up with Burke and they're going to go, what? <laughs> but yeah, you know, he's had a hard life, you know, and I don't know what happens in the end. I only know his father dies. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what happens to his mother either, to be honest with you. But No, his mum's still alive. Okay, yeah, you know, his mum... His mum's got a really long neck. Mm, tasty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to show you the image of the. Uh, so is she? Uh, is she technically a giraffe? No, <laughs> no, she's not. Uh, hang on. I want to see if this Lion King long neck meme. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> I'll send you this photo. Um, and whilst that's happening, uh, I will basically go. I don't like The Lion King. It's not that good. It's just Hamlet. It's Hamlet by a cartoon. Yeah, it's just Hamlet. And I don't like Hamlet either. Uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Simba's annoying. He's just in self-entitled. It's only until his dad dies that he's not. And even then he's still a lazy sack of shit. He just, like, doesn't do anything. So, yeah. <laughs> ah, I see what you mean now. I have I have sent the image. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's animation. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Simba sucks. Give us an unpopular opinion, Dan. I don't know who won that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. You won it because I can't defend it in the slightest. Sweet. <laughs> I just like that because it was just so unexpected. But right, here we here we go. Putting your clothes on right out of the shower is better than drying your body first. I call that one is weird. <laughs> the reason why it's yeah. good. Well, let, give me the, let me give you the reasons why it's good. It feels good to have fabric stick against your skin. Water no, dripping down your neck and your back while you put a clean shirt on. Dry socks no. and wet feet. Pants. No. <laughs> trousers and wet legs. No. It all just feels better. And when you dry, you dry naturally. No. 
<laughs> your clothes dry naturally anyway. <laughs> It's so good. If you hang your clothes. If you hang your clothes up, they dry naturally. And if you get a towel, it's called absorption. It's natural. <laughs> oh no, this person's psychotic. If you've ever stepped in a puddle whilst wearing socks, no. This person loves that feeling. They love having their wet skin stick to their nice dry clothing. I will admit, wearing a shirt that's wet is kind of nice. But anything is else, is... <laughs> like, I don't mind that. If you're in like a rain. Like when you're running, running, and it kind of like that sticky, that's fine. But trousers, no. Socks, no. Anything lower than your chest, no. <laughs> Wearing a hat, no. Like your midsection, yeah, that's fine. Long sleeve, no. <laughs> Only a t-shirt. You just you just go swimming fully clothed, and just you just carry it normally, and you get out, yeah. and you even dry yourself. You just walk around the street completely yeah. wet clothes. <laughs> like your socks are just filled with water, and you don't empty it. You go, yes. This is the way. Oh no. Gross. <sighs> uh, I think you won that based on the fact it's stupid. <laughs> Dan, here's a controversial one. Beyonce is an overrated performer. Ooh. Do you wanna take she is or isn't? To be honest, I'm gonna struggle to defend either way, so Same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of us are Beyonce fans, funny enough. Um But which one do you wanna have? an easier time doing defending her i will defend her because she was abused by chris brown nope that's rihanna ah oh, damn it <laughs> <laughs> she was cheated on by jay-z okay i'll go with that one then <laughs> but they're still together how did i get that confused to be honest i don't listen to either of the music i'm surprised that you got rihanna and fiance confused but it's hey why confusing? Not? the music's quite similar are you say because they're of a certain race that they no, look no, the no, same? No, 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 no. <laughs> they're not even the same. Well, meh, I'm not going to get into this. <laughs> I wish I got a bit haircut out there. That's like Rihanna got red hair and then Beyonce got black hair. Rihanna dyes her hair all the time. Beyonce's been blonde as well. They just dyed. Well, they, okay, they there just... you go. That shows my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna's pregnant at the moment. What? <laughs> I know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll move on because neither one of us can defend this. <laughs> no, apparently I, all I can do is get myself cancelled by say, saying something. Yes. Okay, here you go. Getting mad about leaving the toilet seat up is stupid. Yes, I agree with that. I will defend it. <laughs> uh, hang on, before you do defend, oh, can I not defend it because I've got the reasons you know listed beneath me? <sighs> Fine, we'll, we'll drop the premise. We'll just go for why these are stupid or not stupid. We go to the bathroom, lift the seat up, piss put it back down or we get uh you have to toilet seat up again look if i have to lift it lift it up and put it back down again you can you can you put sure it down. can just pay attention and look down when you get to the bathroom here's a new solution if i have to piss i lift the seat up piss wash my hands and leave if you have to piss you put the seat down piss wash your hands and leave that way it's equal and then there's not anyone getting annoyed about it can i also say one thing as well what's that men Men also put the seat down when they take a shit. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so it's like it's not like we're incapable of doing it, but we also when we've pissed and we and then we come back to put the seat down, we put the seat down to poop. So we can do it. It's just there's no point. And here's a, here's a secondary follow up to this. Why do you not look down when you go to the toilet and sit? Yeah, <laughs> like. People keep... Okay, to be honest, I have fallen into that trap. Yeah. Well. You can, you <laughs> I have done it too. Natu- <laughs> but people, you do. people say, like, well, clearly you've never fallen in. And the thing I is, have. why would I fall in? Why would I ever fall in? I'm ne- I've never once walked into the bathroom with my eyes shut and been like, oop, I guess I'm just going to hope everything goes all right this time. <laughs> and then just fall in. Yeah. I, I have, fall- I have like, sat, like, wet, and I've just gone, whoop, and then just had to pop back <laughs> up again. <laughs> Oh, that bad. I love the South Park episode where they discuss this cause just, <laughs> and the mum dies because she gets stuck in the toilet and just gets sucked in. Oh, she dies? Yeah, they, <laughs> they have a mum they have a mum die. I can't remember whose mum it is. I'm pretty sure that she dies because she like her kid isn't um putting the toilet seat down and then the mum goes and sits on it and then gets stuck and then they flush <laughs> the toilet and it sucks her inside out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I watched like that South Park episode. Um, so what are we going for? Crazy or valid? Uh, what? That it's it's 
stupid that people complain that the toilet sits up? Yeah, is it a crazy opinion or is it a valid opinion? No, it's a valid opinion getting annoyed at people who complain about the toilet seat being up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's not as di- it's, it's the same amount of effort to put it up and put it down. <laughs> Actually, it's easier to put it down because you just tap it and it goes whoop. Whereas putting it up, you have to put muscle into it. Yeah, that's true. Why are they complaining? It's not that much effort. Uh, uh, there we go. Toilet seat deaf. Clyde's mom dies. There we go. Hang on. I'm going to send you this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look after the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Next opinion. Uh, Taylor Swift is one of the most underrated singers and songwriters in this generation. Okay. What I is think your she's argument? overrated. What, that she isn't? <laughs> Yeah. Um, she makes pop catchy songs, but not really that lyrically interesting. That's true. To be honest, I don't. I don't really think we are never, ever, ever, that, ever yeah, getting that's, back. That's, that's, that's not a great. That's not great. <laughs> I think the only one you can ever say is kind of good lyrically is maybe "Shake It Off." Shake it off. I mean, just I mean more for like the meaning behind it. <laughs> I mean more for the meaning behind it, like why it's sort of I think good for young. I think she's cool. I like how she basically had to re-release all her own albums because the music industry basically fucked her over and she went, nah, fuck it, I'm just going to re-release them all. Yeah, I think she's a nice person, but yeah, the songs aren't great. I also think that she fucking hates Kanye West, and I agree. (laughs) (laughs) Because Kanye basically blocked her at the uh, Grammys or whatever it was. That was funny. (sighs) But yeah, no, she's, she's not that great. I think she's good, but she's... It, it's not difficult to be a pop, like, like sing pop songs. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Just look at Jason Derulo. He transitioned into it, and he's just making filthy money. Because it's all it is is catchy. You don't have to make it smart. That's true. It doesn't have to be good music. You just, it's just, it you know, just needs easy to be to catchy. To. Yeah, and it's stuck it in just your head. Needs to have repeatable lyrics. Listen to the Bo Burnham song where it's just, um. Just catchy lyrics or whatever it is. The intern? No, it was oh. before he made like comedy specials. It was when oh. he was just doing YouTube stuff. Um, oh, I can't remember what it's fucking called, but it's just. Uh, hang on, go so, to the next one. So and wait, find. no wait. What was the what was the opinion then? Taylor Swift is overrated. So are we going? Yes. Agree. We're gonna yeah, agree. she is overrated. Valid, valid opinion. All right, I've got a controversial one here. Oh, it's called repeat stuff. Because that's all you do in a pop song is just repeat stuff, <laughs> repeat stuff. Using someone else's toothbrush is not a big deal. Uh, I have never had a situation where I have... Nope, I have... Nope, that's a lie. I have shared a toothbrush. Mainly not because of choice, but because I have a disabled brother and he just picks up any toothbrush that's in front of him. So if you leave your toothbrush in the bathroom, he'll just use it. Ah, oh, yes, yes, um, yes. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of it, but... I have a. Rep- That's like my father electric- as well. And my, fa- my father's got nothing wrong with him, but he'll just use my toothbrush. I have an electric toothbrush, so if that happens, I just replace the head. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, nah, I don't need your bacteria in my mouth. Well, here Kinda we go. like kissing. Here's the reason for it. Sometimes Wait, I forget to pack four? a toothbrush. Or I wasn't originally going to stay over, but made the last minute decision. Let me use your toothbrush. My mouth hasn't been anywhere crazy. I'll wash it thoroughly after. Problem what solved. If you just licked ass. Everyone's teeth has b- been refreshed. The world keeps spinning. And then, yes, the first comment was, "If I licked your butthole the night before, you have permission <laughs> to use my toothbrush." <laughs> yeah, I literally knew someone would go. <laughs> yeah, the internet is obsessed with eating ass. So of course, the first place. That's true. I don't go. understand it. I, to me, it seems like that's a bad idea. You're just that's so much bacteria there. Yeah. It's not a... Um... And it can't be that good a feeling. Surely not. What? Eating ass? Or... Yeah. Like licking someone's butthole cannot be that good. Well, the male G-spot is up the asshole, so... Yeah, but it's not licking the rim. Yeah, but the... I don't know. I've never tried. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't sound like a good idea. Why yeah. would that ever be good? Don't yuck people's yums, Dan. It's not good. If they can scientifically prove to me what... To be, actually, no, to be honest, there's a lot of sensitivity around the anus. When you have yes. a spicy curry... You feel it the next day. Yeah. And if you want to taste that curry again, you go down there and get some of that curry. <laughs> Maybe that curry that's why they slurry. do it. <laughs> they do it so they can eat more curry. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, um, you know, the people who like to be peed on? It's because people will eat, eat asparagus. That, they, want that... to <laughs> <laughs> they want to continue having that asparagus taste. 
Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Sprinkles are gross and ice cream should be served plain. Okay, now that's crazy. Do you like sprinkles, Dan? I don't, I don't see what the harm it adds to it. Sometimes you get a nice bit of crunch to your ice cream. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like a chalky crunch. I like that chalky crunch. Yeah, I like it. I, I like having sprinkles They have no flavor, that. but I like no, the crunch yeah. on an ice cream. What's the, what's the argument for? Oh, yeah. these don't have, like, arguments. These That's aren't a shame. on Reddit. Yeah. No, these are just, here's an unpopular opinion, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's crazy. That's a crazy opinion. I don't agree with that one. No, uh, I, I don't I don't see any point. Uh, like, I mean, if you don't it want just it. just adds a nice, like. Did he say it should be banned? No, it just should be served plain. No, that's crazy. Like, to say it should be served plain? Like a 99 flake. Like, the 99 like ice cream with the flake and just the whipped cream ice cream on the cone. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have sprinkles. No, I would. I like I like a crunch. I like I like an ice crunchy Mr. Whippy. Yeah, I mean that's why I get if he carrots the day before and get an, <laughs> and have diarrhea. Hmm. I I, I I I I like sprinkles. I don't I don't I don't always have them. No, because like, it costs money most of the time. Oh yeah, it's and like I don't want to pay money because uh, as anyone everyone knows around me is um, I'm a cheapskate and I will not pay money. Yes. Ooh, okay, I got a good next one. Dan, your one. <laughs> Bringing your dog into a store is attention-seeking. Into a store? Yes. So, you know, it's a dog-friendly store. Most stores don't allow... Oh, a right, shop. yeah. It's a dog-friendly shop okay. and then th- you bring your dog in. It's yeah. a dog. We get it. Literally no reason to bring it into a Home Depot, etc. Other than attract attention to yourself. Except if it's a service dog and not an emotional support dog or pet. But it's for emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> It's so that you don't get overwhelmed in a store. <laughs> That's the point of them. Um, <laughs> I, I like I got, to see a dog. I got the first comment. Someone had an emotional support miniature horse in a bed, bath, <laughs> and beyond I was shopping at. My brain still can't comprehend it. Uh, there was a story that someone tried to get their emotional support, like um, lobster or something, on a plane. Yeah. It was some stupid animal that was like an emotional support pet. And I was just like, how do people discover that this is their emotional support animal? <laughs> do, do, like, do at just, this like, point, it's just taking the pit. Do you just fall in the ocean, nearly drown, and you just pick up this lobster and go, I'm fine now? Yeah. It's just like, oh, you're at a seafood restaurant having a panic attack. You look at the lobster tank and go, oh, oh I feel so much better. And then you just see them burning alive and you're like, I must have this emotional support lobster. <laughs> I will save you, Clumpy. Uh, no, I, I, I like the idea of letting dogs in stores. Yeah, so I'd be going... okay with people letting any animals in stores. I think just having animals in stores would be great. Like, yeah, imagine so... someone bringing in a little lizard. So just, <laughs> just on that, or head. like, a, or you have one of those people who has the little trolleys who has a little goldfish in a bowl behind them. <laughs> They're just wheeling on like a wheelbarrow. As See, that's attention store. seeking. <laughs> like that would be a fucking sick one. No, bringing bring your dog into a store. If you're if you're taking it for a walk or something, as long as it doesn't shit in it, then it's fine. Yeah, like as long as it's not freaked out and it's like a trained dog. If it's like a yappy fucking dog, then fuck no. Keep yeah, it yeah. Outside. Let's go. For, let's go for that crazy opinion. That's a crazy one. Uh, Dan, listening to podcasts is more enjoyable than listening to music. <laughs> Bit of self nudge nudge here. <laughs> that is a very good opinion. Yeah, and you should check out. Every other episode that we do, because we're a fantastic yes, podcast. Because you enjoy listening to us more than you enjoy listening to your favorite Beyonce <laughs> or Taylor slash Swift. Rihanna slash Taylor Swift music. <laughs> we're so good, we you are, know. We're clearly better yeah, than we're those so three much artists. better than those famous billion-dollar artists. Yes, and we're not making dollars. any money off this whatsoever. So yeah, we're no, we're negative better. money. We were about to spend one hundred twenty quid on our videos. <laughs> We're not, okay, no, I'm not doing that. We're not having this discussion again. <laughs> uh, we will if people donate. Yeah, well, people aren't going to donate, so... No. <laughs> Maybe one day. Who knows? But yeah, no, I, I like listening to podcasts more than I uh, listen to music, but I do enjoy music. I just don't listen to, like, current music. I listen to, like, really obscure, modern-day, like, SoundCloud artists who are just doing, like, independent shit. I like listening to the uh, Destiny 2 soundtrack on repeat. I don't do that. I used to do that, and then I haven't done that, because I was just like, I I like the music. I want to play it in the game. I have been listening to the Arcane soundtrack a lot, though. Oh, that, that soundtrack is, is, is great. <sighs> yeah, it is a fantastic soundtrack. I can't lie there. 
And then I got back into Imagine Dragons because of the um, boys trailer. So that say. song, that song bangs. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's so good. They're doing a lot of good. They're in the fucking arcade and they're in the boys. They're like in two of my favorite shows ever. And I'm like, Imagine Dragons, you're doing all right. Yeah, everyone hated you at some point. You became the modern day Nickelback. Yeah, and then everyone's. You're slowly turning people around, and I'm glad. Because I've always liked Imagine Dragons. I like Radioactive. I like all of that. Yeah, I think Man. I think their last album didn't quite hit with me. But I don't even know when their albums... I, I, I haven't listened to like modern day music since like 2016. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, uh, that's when I dropped off, because that's when I stopped listening to the music charts, and I was just like, okay, my knowledge of all music ends in 2019, <laughs> uh, 2016, and I only knew about Dua Lipa. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the only new artist that I knew. And yeah, she's. In- I do not. I didn't know she was English. Even did I? Yeah, Until did, you know, just now. I literally didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's English. Oh, good for her. Although her That's eyebrows great. are still mad. Yeah, but hey, she's a good singer. I like it. Yeah, she's she is. Good, she is. She's got good. She's got a different vocal, like level, and she's good. I like her. Okay, so. It's a valid opinion? Is it? <laughs> well, podcasts are better than music. Oh, right, yeah. I thought you were going to move on to an, another one. Uh, yes, it's a valid podcasts, opinion. I like, I like podcasts. I do listen to way more podcasts when I'm at work than I do music. Sorry, I got hiccups. I don't know why. That is not good for a podcast. <laughs> well, they're probably gone. It was just like a hiccup hiccup. Well, here's my next opinion. I, as a non-American, love the USA. Oh, Okay. America's short... got bright spots. <laughs> yeah, a short list of few things I love about the USA. Number one, the geography. How every state is almost a new country in itself. No. <laughs> How friendly the vast majority of people are there. That's because they're forced to be. <laughs> Their <laughs> well, entire culture is ro- ro- revolves around tips. So they have to be <laughs> nice to get their pay. Because <laughs> the if wildlife. you're an arsehole, people reject you. <laughs> what? The wildlife. Uh... Yeah, okay, maybe. They got eagles. That's pretty cool. The food and how much variety. Oh, they got raccoons as well. I love a fucking raccoon. Raccoons are great. Yeah, the food. Trash pen. Which says a lot of variety of food in America. Uh, Fast food, yes. (laughs) I was going to say, surely it's like, isn't it mostly just like deep fried stuff, burgers, pizza? I'm sure they have fancy restaurants and shit like that, but I doubt a vast majority of the American population is um, indulging in such luxury. (laughs) Mainly because they can't afford it. (laughs) I don't know. No, maybe we should, we should actually go to America at some point. I'm planning to at some point. I do want to go. It would be fun to try and record this podcast whilst I'm in America. <laughs> <laughs> we could do it. We could do it. I managed to do a call with an Australian, so it's possible. <laughs> the sheer amount of choice you have everywhere you go. That is true. There's, there's a lot of variety there. Yeah. And Wide apparently variety the sports. Of okay, I disagree with the last one. The sports are dead. <laughs> uh, they've certainly got a big atmosphere. I'd love to go watch NASCAR, but then I realized that it's like 10 hours of just watching a car drive in a circle. And the only reason it's entertaining is because of the crashes. So I'd probably just go for the highlight reel. <laughs> yeah, I think F1's better. Anyway, personally, I think F1's better than NASCAR. Yeah, I feel like the only reason NASCAR is more enjoyable is because it's shorter. Like, the laps are shorter so you can see the car more. Because with, with, yeah, if, the, you're but... if you're actually in the stadium or it, where the F1 is, you have to wait until the cars go around the big old lap and everything, and then you see it again. And then with NASCAR, it's just like, oh yeah, 30 seconds later, here's the car again. It's like, yeah, I get to see the car again. I get to see the car repeatedly again and again and again. And then maybe it gets closer and closer to another car, and that car tailbones it, and it just spins out, causes a I huge crash. And I know you don't like it, but football, I think, like, English football is far superior to any American sport. I think baseball is more entertaining than cricket. Oh, that's not hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if we're doing like British versus American sports. No, but I'm just saying, like, Eng- just, just football just trumps everything else. Can I counteract all of this by just saying gun violence? <laughs> <laughs> store shootings. That's my favorite sport. Store or school? <laughs> <laughs> Give a child Both. a gun. So many people can kill. <laughs> it's a great betting competition. Uh, so, yeah, look, Costco's good. <laughs> <laughs> that has no relevance because we were talking about Costco before the show. So is it valid uh, or crazy? What, America's good? Yeah. 
Look, America is fine. <laughs> I have to say it's valid. And America love is to good. Go. Because majority I... of our viewers are currently from America. Yeah, but they've seen our opinions of America. They know that we're not. I'd love America. Look, I genuinely do want to go to America. I'd love to go. I am just worried I will get shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you just say one thing controversial and they'll just go, nah. Oh, yeah. your dad. I, I won't I won't tip an American waitress and she'll pull out a Glock and blap me in the face like four times. <laughs> you'll leave a tip. <laughs> yeah. I'll just be like, oh. I'm i I'm too sarcastic for America. Because Americans don't take sarcasm. Like the British can take sarcasm. Americans take it all literally. Yeah, that's true. In in England, you're just getting insulted left, right, and centre. If an American walks through the British street, they're just gonna get insulted. Like every person they see. Yeah, and I have a, I have a tinge of American accent, uh, as people keep telling me, and so I'll get mistaken for an American, and then I won't be I won't be able to pass off as the British, so then I won't be able to get away with it. Yeah, I don't think I would have that problem. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're t- somehow you're far I've developed a posh accent, and I don't know how. <sighs> <sighs> okay, Dan, we're gonna do one that we teased at the uh, last episode. We did Pizza. another episode of this. No, like the last episode of TVO. Oh. Which is pineapple on pizza. <laughs> oh, we did tease this. It's valid, all right? Pineapple it's is... It's not. There's no. nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza. You if don't you don't like it, just fruit... don't have it. There's... You're not taking it away from me. Look, I... No. It's fine. But it doesn't need to be on it. Why? Because I... well, it doesn't taste good. Pineapple yes, it shit. does. No, it doesn't. Pineapple shit. Pineapple's great. I love the taste of pineapple. It's one of my favorite fruits. No, it's absolute garbage. It's got it eats such you alive. a nice flavor to it. It's eating you alive. <laughs> Why is it eating you alive? That's what pineapple, that's what the tingle is. It's trying to eat you. It's the it enzyme. It tastes good. Dissolve. Yeah, it's trying to eat you, though. If you have <laughs> pineapple in your teeth, it would eat you alive. I'm going to cover you in pineapples and force you to stand still, and it will eat you alive. No, pineapple is trying to eat you. If I want it on my pizza, I'm having it, right? Yeah, but I'm not fucking ordering it for you. If I'm paying for pizza and you ask for pineapple, I'm telling you to fucking pay for it yourself. It's not like I'm ordering chocolate It's on not pizza. the best one. That's the point. It's just like, what would, if out of all the toppings what and all of the options... What about your opinion? No, but out of all of the options for pi- like pizza, why would you go pineapple? Because it tastes good. Pineapple is the one that you buy for the weirdo who has it and then you just go yeah oh, yeah you have that with yourself so that we don't have to eat it honestly i don't think there's a better pizza topping than pineapple for me i love pineapple so much pepperoni it's no nah, pineapple tastes way miles above like, pepperoni no i don't I, even if you pick off the pineapple it lingers and it's why would you pick it off because you don't want it off there. Because you're trying to save the precious pizza from this horrible concoction of this stupid pineapple that they've put on it and then you're like no I'm going to take it off. But then it lingers. It's still there in taste. And you're like, ew, the texture isn't there, but the taste is. It's just not good. I can't stand it. I'm just like, I, I don't, I don't, I will not, I do not care if someone orders it. I just don't want to eat it. It tastes good. No, it doesn't. All right, then well, again, I am a really picky eater. So. Oh yeah, I've heard. Uh, you are picky. Oh yeah. I'm not as picky as Mike, but I am picky. Oh, that, that man is, I, I, Honestly, I've I've never seen that man touch a vegetable. And that's why he is the way he is. <laughs> Do you eat onions? Yes. Okay, you at least have some sense to you. I didn't for ages. I that's will fine. admit, I did I didn't eat mushrooms and I didn't eat onions for ages. I still don't eat mushrooms, but that that's for a different reason. You don't want to get high? No, I just got a fear of mushrooms. <laughs> what don't you have a fear of death? <laughs> I don't not, not a lot of things. I just I I don't like sea creatures. Like with the weird I sea creatures. I don't like fish. I hate fish. Fish is I, I like the normal fish. If, if fish looks normal, I'll That's eat it. That's the more controversial one. Anchovies on pizza. That's way more controversial. Yeah, that's worse. I'll, I'll, admit, I'll admit anchovies. Any fish, no. Get it away from my fucking pizza. I will not have a fish on my pizza. Have you seen the people who put fucking strawberries in uh, uh, kiwi fruit? Yeah, that's weird. That is really weird. And banana. People, Fruit does not belong on a pizza. Only pineapple and tomatoes. No. <laughs> You can't you no. can't say fruit doesn't belong because tomatoes is on the pizza. No. What do you mean no? No. Pineapple. You can have barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a barbecue base, and that's the better. Just dis- I w- I would choose barbecue over tomato any day. 
All right, here, here is a... So, okay, let's just agree to disagree. Yep. I think it's valid. You think it's crazy, but, you know, whatever. Oh. Here's an interesting one. Kink is... shaming should be encouraged. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> people should not be, like... I, I do not have problems with people experimenting. Just like, keep it to yourself. Yeah, keep it to the bedroom. <laughs> like, people do not need to know what goes on in your sex life. Like, you do not need to walk the other partner around like a dog. In oh, public. fuck, that video I is don't so annoying. See that. <laughs> that, that, that's so weird. I hate that. Like, furries, yeah, it's a sexual thing. Keep it to the bedroom. <laughs> keep, keep the, like, you don't need to go around, like, sniffing kids and doing all of that that's, shit. It's just weird. I don't want to see it. Just keep it to but... the bedroom. But I need to read what this person has wrote. Okay. I've had people tell me I shouldn't kink shame when making fun of certain groups which can't be named without an auto-remove. But it's applicable to all sorts of things. To explain, let me go through the process. If I'm kink-shaming you, it means that you. Ha- it means I know your kinks. Why the F do I know your kinks? Yeah. I certainly <laughs> didn't ask about them. So if you're making your unnecess- unsavory secrets my business, I'm going to encourage you to stop that behavior. Yeah. I don't necessarily hate the be open and vulnerable culture, that seems to be becoming more popular in America. But there is some stuff you should just still keep to yourself out of the decency to others. Just because you want to be open book doesn't mean everyone else wants to read it. Now, yeah, I don't need to know that you like being rimmed in the asshole by a cow prod <laughs> <laughs> to get you going so that you come on the floor. I'm like, I don't need to know that. <laughs> That was not a necessary thing for me to know. Okay, I, I don't think kink shaming should necessarily be encouraged. Just don't talk about it. Well, that's because they don't, don't shut talk up. about it unless one asks you. Yeah, but that, you have to tell them to shut up because they don't want to tell everyone. They want everyone to know that they like getting rimmed in the asshole by a cow frog. <laughs> to be honest, no. Okay, it shouldn't necessarily be encouraged, but it should be encouraged to those people who just don't shut up about it. Yeah, but people nowadays want to know that everything. <laughs> Like, everyone knows what that... That's, that's the problem with social media. Everyone's telling everyone everything. Like, they have no filters. No one wants well, to keep true, anything. Yeah. It's like, oh, I've run out of interesting... Like, I've run out of things that I can talk about. Well, time to go to my sexual corner and start telling that because that's the only well of resources and sex sells, baby. It's, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Didn't need to know that. Didn't know you liked play, having your tally whacker whacked by a tally. <sighs> Uh, chocolate is gross. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's straight up just crazy. I mean, I love my chocolate. Yeah, you a dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate? Depends on my mood. I'm a I'm a I'm a milk chocolate person. It, it depends. Uh, on I've never that. really liked dark chocolate. I like good dark chocolate. Mm, I think my I favorite know. is lint. Lint eighty five percent. What dark chocolate? Yeah, lint eighty five percent dark chocolate. Yeah, I think it's like good kind of overrated. It, it has like a bitterness to it, but it's still smooth. I'm not a big fan of Lint, to be honest. I like Lint, but I... Oh, honestly, that's controversial. That's a controversial <laughs> opinion right there. I like Forget their everything buddies. else tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, I don't think Lint is bad. I really don't. I just think I prefer Cadbury. Oh, I can't agree with that. I just can't agree with that. I don't think Galaxy is good. I think Galaxy is overrated. Yeah, I agree. I think Ga- Galaxy is too sweet. Yeah, it's it's not great. I like Galaxy. I'll have Galaxy from time to time, but I think Galaxy is... um. It's the it's out of the three. I'd go Galaxy last, Cadbury first, and then Lindor. I think Lindor is too expensive for what it is. Isn't Galaxy or Lindor? I do not. I think Actually, Galaxy is its own thing. No, it's um. Is it Mars? Uh, probably because it's in the Mars like pack bundle things. I think it's yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Mars. Yeah. Probably. Whoever owns Mars, Mars. Are you opening up one right now? No, I'm opening up a whisper. Okay, fair enough. Why are you eating? Oh, okay. <laughs> why, why aren't you eating on the podcast? Why am I not eating? I don't know. Nah, Lint. Why, Lint, why Lint, are you not Lint's eating on the audio? Mi- like, there's a whole section on the internet called mukbanging where people just eat and people seem to enjoy eating noises. So I'm going to Maybe we should I'm do that. Indulge, Maybe we should do a mukbang. I'm indulging we our mukbang our... audience. Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> I just... What are you doing? I don't have a glass, so... <laughs> okay, just to clarify, I've just seen Danny eat half a mini whisper and then just down it with a sip of full-fat pint milk. 
out of the pint, out of the pint plastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, is how you can, this is how you can tell he lives alone. Yeah. <laughs> I have no reason to share milks. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> However, anyway. I'm hungry, so I will eat. <laughs> What's the opinion? Chocolate overrated? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Well, it's gross, but yeah. <laughs> okay, here's one for you. Jeans are uncomfortable and they are not good everyday trousers. Disagree, I like jeans. I like jeans. This person writes, jeans are workwear, they are robust, sturdy, and a bit uncomfortable, but most people aren't cowboys or work in the gold mine. Why not wear some cotton chinos in summer or wool pants? Maybe something in a different colour, yet it seems everyone wears blue jeans. Boring. I don't wear blue jeans, I wear black, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do wear blue jeans, but I like to wear... You know, I, know. I don't like blue. I don't like blue jeans. I think blue looks horrible. Don't you have a blue car? No, it's grey. Oh, I thought it was blue. No, it's grey. Dark grey. Titanium grey. <laughs> <sighs> Milk. From the... <laughs> from a pint. Oh, I, like, I like wearing my jeans. I think pure denim. I think pure denim is uncomfortable. Double denim. Where you wear the denim shirt, denim trousers. No, you want triple denim. Denim shirt, mm. denim trousers, and a denim jacket. And a denim hat. <laughs> <laughs> denim gloves. I am just denim. denim. socks. No, um... I will say, I did my D of E, which is walking around in the wilderness in jeans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everyone else was wearing, like, comfy trousers, comfy, like, short shorts and everything. And I went, no, fuck that. I only wear jeans, and I would wear jeans. And guess what? Everyone got fucking stung by stinging nettles and all of that, and I didn't, because I was wearing jeans, and jeans don't let that shit through. <laughs> And I wasn't warm, tired, or anything like that. Everyone else was exhausted, had rashes on their legs and all that shit. I, in my jeans, persevered for like 12 hours straight walking. No issues, no nothing. I was fine. So I call bullshit that jeans are uncomfortable for long periods. Yeah, I think my, my favorite jeans now are like the elastic jeans. I don't know what they are. They're like normal denim, but they're a bit, they're a bit elasticated. I wear skinny jeans. I can't wear skinny I'm, jeans. I'm a man. But my feet oh, are too man. big. I, honestly, my feet just look massive on them. Mm. I don't know what size of feet you are, but I'm, I'm a size 12. Nine and a half. Yeah, I so you're fine. But, but for me, I look like a clown. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll help me get... <laughs> get no, we'll you. start up at, um, one of those foot fetish picture sites and we'll start uploading <laughs> your feet. Then we can start earning mo- money for this stupid podcast. <laughs> No one's wear... gonna want my shitty little nine nine point five feet. <laughs> size size, we'll size you... twelve and skinny jeans. I've also got small ankles as well, which doesn't help. Dan, you know what they say about big feet? Big socks. Yeah. <laughs> and a big fucking cock. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have no comment on that. <sighs> um Let's go one more each. Alright. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't care how that's <laughs> Okay. Um People claim they hate online bullying, yet they are doing it themselves. I mean, that's probably true, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Twitter? Yes. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> like, let's let's cancel this person, but they're doing cancelable stuff as well. <laughs> Everyone claims, everyone's a hypocrite. Like, that's stupid. I hate the world we live in where people say one thing and then do the other thing. Like, we do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we don't claim to not. <laughs> that's the thing. We're not claiming to be anything... <laughs> We'll do stupid stuff. We're not claiming that we don't bully people. <laughs> no, we do everything sensible on this podcast. It's completely serious. Yeah. We ignore the fact it's under the comedy category. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, some of, some of people thought we were funny. We're on the news section. <laughs> we're not... Oh, no. I, like, I, I, I don't get the, like, cancel stuff. It just, it, it, it always, like, I get it. Cancel people if they're horrible, but people go and cancel people from things in the past that they don't need to be cancelled for because they've already apologised. Yeah, that's and very it's true. Like, it's so stupid. Like, the whole stop James digging Gunn up the situation. dirt from behind. People have buried that dirt, and they're not going to dig it up unless you dig it up. Yeah, I don't... I don't. They're I don't not hiding it. Unless someone is hiding it, then cancel them. But people aren't hiding it. If it's still up on their channels and shit... Like, in 40 years, if we get cancelled because of this show... <laughs> Like, we're not trying to hide it. 
You can try and cancel us, but hey, look, go for it. <laughs> okay. So we're going for that as a valid opinion. Yes. Now, I'm sort of t- torn between these two opinions. Should I just give both of them? Go for it. All right, let's give it the first one. If you get mad at your significant other for watching porn, you're an insecure asshole. Um, having been single for a while, <laughs> <laughs> uh, porn is uh, something that uh, men like to watch. And women. Men and women. And women, yeah. Men more. Women. It's harder to find. I don't good know. Stuff. Have you seen have you seen the statistics? Well no, I'm not saying women don't, but it's a lot harder for them to find that isn't just aimed at the male <laughs> audience. <laughs> like men yeah, that's true. Like it's more more focused on the men. It's a bad industry and like look, I'm not saying women don't, but men tend to every afternoon or whenever, like just casually just sit down, crack open the YouTube. <laughs> Not the YouTube. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you could. There is. There's those yoga videos that are nudist people. You can find porn on YouTube. It's that's not true, porn. You can, yeah. you can find naked people because it's under the education category, so YouTube doesn't take it down. That's how you get it, kids. That's how you do it. Well, this person writes, as the title suggests, get over your insecurities. Now you know it's acting and no one is cheating. Also, you have no Wait, right to tell the other person what they can do with their body. Having an issue with it makes you the problem, not the other person. Yeah. Also, you're not always going to be in the same room and you you have needs. You had needs before that person. Your needs don't go away just because that person's there now. They help dull those needs, but you still have needs. I imagine if someone does get mad at me for clocking one, I'm going to be like, well... I think it depends. I think I think it depends on the situation. If it's becoming an obsession, then yeah. Yeah, that's a problem. If you're spending more time jacking it than you are jacking it with your lass or your man, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think if the only way they can get turned on is by watching porn, then that's It's the um the Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie, John, uh, Dear John, or not John, Don John, Don John, where he, he, he gets in a relationship with Scarlett Johansson, but he can't get off to Scarlett Johansson. He can only get off to porn. And then he slowly realizes that he has to stop and then he starts dating an older woman. Oh. It's a weird movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> it I was directed by Jesse. Yeah. So are we going for semi-valid? A bit crazy? What was the opinion? Um, if you that get is... mad at your significant other for watching porn, you're an insecure asshole. Yeah, that's valid. Fair enough. Okay. For this... Okay, we'll do the last one now. And this is a very controversial one. Go for it. And being serious, it's actually quite controversial. I don't feel like cheating is as bad as most people say it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I told you, it's a doozy. It depends on the circumstance, I will say. If you're in a lo- if you're in a horrible relationship, but you're scared to get out, and then you cheat because you want to get out, and you want to like you feel comfort with someone else because you're in a horrible relationship with no love or anything, then yeah, that's valid. If you're doing it just because you can, that's bad. I think it's fine as long as you end the relationship afterwards, straight away, pretty much. Because clearly yeah. then you don't care about the person you're with. Yeah. It's bad if you do it. I think if you, you do it once, it. like if you do it once because of like a, because everyone has like a moment of lapse of judgment or. Yeah. Like if you did you it get once swept and up then in you a just moment. regretted it. And you're yeah. Like, if I you immediately regret it and, you just and admit go back it. to them. Yeah, but people get scared and they're worried that people will leave them and then they hide yeah, then it. Yeah, they lie and, then... and cover it up and it's a whole lot worse. But if you just yeah. own up to show where it's like, look, I had, look, I had a momentary lapse of judgment. I regretted it instantly. I didn't regret it whilst I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's hard to say because I've never been cheated on. It's hard to say. Cause I haven't been in on a relationship long <laughs> enough to be cheated on, so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, like, I wouldn't like to be cheated on, but I'd hope that I was doing a good enough job to the relationship that they wouldn't want to cheat on me. Mm. I feel like if cheating's happening, then your relationship isn't as strong as you want it to be anyway, so it might be worth ending it. Because either you've fallen out of love, or that person's fallen out of love of you, and you're just sitting there waiting for them to love you, and you're just going around looking for that attention somewhere else. So... I feel like I most know. people who view cheating as an ultimate betrayal in a relationship, which guarantees a horrific, explosive end, but I've never got that. Keep in mind, I find it bad and wrong, but it's like a mid-tier issue for me. It wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Like, out of 10, I find it 
like a 10 in terms of badness. I would be pretty frustrated and we need to have a talk, but I could definitely see myself getting past it unless it becomes a reoccurring issue. Yeah, that's what I mean. If it's like a reoccurring thing, if you've if you've done it once, like it sucks, but you can work past that. Like I think as we were talking about with Jay-Z and Beyonce, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce and they're still happily married with kids and all of that. They got past it. Beyonce wrote a whole so- an album on it, I think. I think that's what Lemonade is about. That song that I have never listened to because I stopped listening to music after 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Except do a leaper, apparently. <laughs> I guess for me, it's that humans are humans and do not inherit urges. I do have inherent urges and such, which often results in bad decision making. I don't believe that all people who have cheated on or gravitated. Um, now, obviously, this is my opinion. I don't expect everyone to agree, and it's fine. People can have their own boundaries. That isn't my issue, and I'm not here to convince anyone to change their opinion. I, I have been cheated on and felt hurt, and I have seen others be cheated on. This isn't a cheating okay post. Is it just saying it's not as bad as people say it is? Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd agree too. It also depends on what stage of the relationship is as well. Like it's right at the beginning, that like, you you're one day in. Is that yeah. cheating? Well, people do like Tinder dates and do like multiple Tinder dates in a row. Yeah. Like that's not cheating. It's until you go like official and you officially like go to, hey, look, we're like we're gonna only <laughs> see each honestly, other. Honestly, I th- th- I'm so dreading that conversation. I don't even know how you do it. That's... Yeah, honestly, it's so weird to me. I... <laughs> that's why I'm still single. <laughs> It's not I can't get anyone, it's just it makes me feel awkward. Uh, but that's it. Hang on, Dan, I've got one more. <laughs> oh, you got one more, go for it. Virgins are real. Unpopular opinion, virgins are real. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that's okay, a... I'm so confused. That's all it says is virgins are real. <laughs> yeah? Because I think people pretend that virgins aren't real. What, know. it's just everyone's been laid once in their life? Yeah, kids. <laughs> nah. <laughs> 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 the the uncles out there. <laughs> That's how the kids got it. <laughs> That's how Nan got it. Uh. <laughs> maybe this person is an uncle. But yeah. Well, maybe they're talking about Virgin Galactic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But let's wrap it up. Uh, yes. Uh, that was unpopular slash controversial slash opinions. Uh, this has totally been broken totally opinions. broken opinions. Um, but yeah. We hope you enjoyed. We might do a part two of this if this gets semi-decent traction on the uh, old feed. Um, Yeah, we hope you enjoyed. Check out our other episodes of shit. Check out the next TFE that's coming out on Monday. Um, Check out all our links to all of our things. They're in the show notes below. And yeah, that's been the show. Yes, thank you for listening and we'll see you next week. Pineapple sucks on pizza. (laughs) 